We're here at Data Days Cleveland, the first day here Thursday, and speaking with Jill Miller Zeman, who's with Open Neo, and just led a, a rousing presentation on uh, basically Data 101. Hi, Jill. Hi, Dan. So, how'd, how'd your presentation go? For the, the people, this is a sold out event, for the people who couldn't make it, what, what's the basic premise and takeaways from your presentation? I think it was great. I, you know, a lot of people aren't even comfortable with or know what open data is. A lot of people think of hacking, uh, they think of cyberspace warfare, things like that. We really wanted to bring it down to a very kind of granular but basic level so people aren't threatened or scared by the concepts and understand how they interact with it every day. And today is uh, Thursday, the control part of the control alt delete uh, uh, program. And there's a lot of nonprofits here and people working in the, the civic space. So these are tools that using this data, they can do their job. It's available out there, but they just don't know about it or how to access it. Yeah, and one of the things that's really interesting in our session, um, at least a third of the group were actually folks from the corporate sector, so people who are consultants, uh, and then people from corporations themselves. And I think being able to highlight how data and public data can be leveraged for the private sector is an also really important part of helping kind of get more people to support it. Uh, it's not um, sexy the way a lot of other, you know, things are like having an RNC convention or even this beautiful space here. But data is really at the core of how we decide what services we're going to deliver, the quality of the services, and improving them. And how did, did were you able to assure the people, you know, data can be manipulated, data can be dangerous and false and scary and malware ridden? How, how, how do you assuage their fears of, of open data? Well, I think that that really goes to the part of the day that, or the part of these three days that you talked about, which is this day is called control. So I think kind of understanding it helps you get more control over it so you don't have, you know, uh, an inappropriate amount of fear about it. It is something you need to protect and you need to be thoughtful with. And you need to be thorough so that you know, you're know you not leaving pieces out and then make yourself vulnerable for having that data attacked. But you know, I think the more, it's like anything, the more they, people work with it, I think the more comfortable they are around it. Um, so you know, I think those are certainly barriers that people have in their mind. Some of them are realistic, um, but I think they can all be overcome. And the amount of data out there is just incredible. How do you, what would you suggest to call just the best and most useful data and make sure it's effective for your organization? You know, I think um, collaborating, you know, this effort these three days was brought together by several organizations who all share interests um, related to how well our government functions, how well our money is being used. So I think that that, that kind of uh, rule, you know, working together, talking with each other is really a good safeguard against those kinds of concerns. So Jill, if people want to learn more about Open Neo or to some of this, uh, the big data questions and all data 101, is there somewhere you can point us to? Sure. Uh, we have a Facebook page. We have a website, openneo.org, and there's some useful tools on there that give you a lot of just the basic data 101. It also gives you uh, links to what's going on in the rest of the country, what's going on in the world, where does the United States place among governments, uh, where does Cleveland fit along, you know, all the other metropolitan areas in the country that are pursuing open data. And, you know, if people check out the sites for all the different collaborating organizations here, I, there's really an infinite number of ways in which people can get involved in data here in Northeast Ohio. All right, great. Sounds like a plan. Great, thanks. Thanks, Jill.